All right, uh, are you going to give us a countdown? Oh. oh. Hell yeah. Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to Recurring Void Effect Week 11. I am Burger Time. Hi, uh, I'm Ant. And uh, we've got some fun matches for you tonight. Um, we're going to have Village Mascot versus Sakanto, followed by Suna versus Untold Melody. Excuse um, me, it's Greg Sports Sakanto. <clears throat> Excuse me, Greg Sports Sakanto. Now, I know one other member of the Greg Sports clan that's actually uh, Carfail, KFL. Um, that's because Sakanto is a multi player, um, making the transition into Undernight, you know, the real French bread game. Yo, what's multi? <clears throat> um, it's a game. It's a game. It's definitely a video game. Uh, so Sakanto is an Akatsuki player. Um, and I believe Village Mascot is a Seth player. Is that correct? That's what we're going by off the card. And if that's the case, Village Mascot, it's, it's his match to lose, right? I mean, Pretty I'm... much, yeah. Because um, the thing is that Seth is the best character in the game. And Akatsuki is... Well, he's not... He's not bad, but uh, he's kind of he's trying to punch and kick them. And Seth, uh, he has knives and he can jump around and throw orbs. And yeah, Akatsuki has to like play on the ground. His feet really don't yeah. lose the ground too much unless he's going for things like air throw or other, other types of things, right? Yeah. And yeah. Seth doesn't really like to keep his feet on the ground too much in some matchups. No, he doesn't Wonderful. have to. Because like, his back dash goes... puts him. Yeah. Yeah, if Seth goes to the top of the screen and just puts a ball there, Akatsuki just has to look at it with his little T-Rex arms and goes, And uh... pull down back, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so basically, Seth gets the initiative at every point in neutral in this matchup, or at least should. So if Sakanto can get on top of Village Mascot, like, or get him in the corner, he he may be able to make some big plays here, but, like, we're going in knowing that it's going to be an uphill battle in neutral for him pretty significantly. The, the, the other thing is that... Seth is like a somewhat unstable character. A little bit, sense, yeah. In the sense that his ability to keep consistent combos instead of going can be difficult. Yeah. And Akatsuki is very, very good at punishing mistakes. Yeah, Akatsuki he is. I mean, he hits fucking hard, and Seth's HP is really low. So, uh, you know, it could swing in Sakanto's favor very quickly if Village Mascot is nervous or dropping or just makes an error. So, uh, <laughs> looks like we're getting into it. Let's see what's going to happen. I think this first round will set the tone for the rest of the series. Okay, so both characters kind of just kind of fishing for a hit. I actually am not sure I like how Village Mascot is playing neutral. I think, like, I want to see him just putting orb out right away, but he got the hit into pressure. There we go. I like that. Backdash into orb. What the hell is Akatsuki going to do about that? Ooh, okay. He yeah, hasn't completed a full combo yet. That nope, not that's not well. <laughs> we, we don't have a full combo. Uh, I think if that's what you're doing with Seth, you are not playing the character. And here we see Sakanto in his desired position. He's got Village Mascot in the corner. Ooh, oh, he didn't... 
<laughs> yeah, that was a situation where it likes to do CS. I'll go for it in a minute. Yeah, um, you know, both players looking a little nervous in this first set, but Sakantho going to do an impromptu combo, take the first round. Good for you, guy. So, Village Mascot chooses to go on the offensive right there with the 6xc, 63a. That's actually unsafe. I, I don't like that type of forward approach. He does not need to confront Akatsuki. He can just run away, throw orb, and let that cover him. And now he's in the corner. More than that, Akatsuki's had four pull the entire first game with death. Ooh, you can't just do that. <laughs> oh, he didn't react to the green shield. Yeah, so the thing I think said about Akatsuki punishing mistakes, yeah. It's not, he's not necessarily just punishing Village Mascot for making mistakes. He's punishing Village Mascot for not finishing his plate, not doing his combos. Yeah, he's the, not in doing his In the first combos. round, Seth had like three or four hits. Yep. And Akatsuki didn't die. And yep. Akatsuki got like three hits, and Seth yeah. died. Yeah, I mean, the thing about... And like, if Akatsuki resets you, you know what? That's fine. Because the Oki he gets off the reset is about the same as the Oki he gets off a knockdown. But with Seth, you really want to be getting that knockdown with Orb out that's going to lead into more mix-up, more set play. And if you're not doing that, you're just not taking advantage of the character's strength. It's not even that. He, he was getting the hits into the orbs a couple times. Oof. Yeah. Uh, Sakanto speedrunning Village Mascot into the corner here. I didn't even see how it happened, but he's just there. Ooh, I like it's the meat Yeah. That's the 5 B link afterwards. Happens. Good. Yeah, good 5 CC of RA. That's a really good button to mash out with at mid-range. But hey, you dropped your combo again, bud. Um... I'm yeah, he's gone for that at the start of a lot of rounds. Around. Okay, okay, fastball kick. Okay, finish the combo. Ooh, uh, I just like that. He not really the ender I would use. Or... Yeah, yeah. The the potential damage for going for Okazuma with that outweighs using super. Yeah. Generally. Also, like against Akatsuki, I think you want super to like get out of pressure. Okay. He tries to contest the orb, and Village Mascot looking like an actual tough player in this game. So that's cool. I mean, he's, he's piecing together what he needs to. Yeah. It's, all, it's still only game two in a first of seven, so he has yeah, time. Yeah, there is time. There is time. But he's going to need to, like, he's going to need to execute, you know? Nice. I like the 2A match there. We actually haven't seen too many defensive situations between those two yet, because whoever's on defense just kind of gets hit like that. Okay, I like the jump uh, back. They didn't use the CS at all. Nope. He did not throw orb, he decided to go in with J JB or JC? I think it's JC. Yeah, um, definitely disagree with some of Village Mascot's decision making there. The the lack of CS focus from both players so far is something that I think if one of them figures out where they want to be placing their CS, it'll work out better for them. But I don't know if they have. Yeah, I'm not trying. For that. I'm not trying to roast these players, chat. I'm just like being realistic and being, you know, truthful. Uh, <laughs> Because, like, Sakanta has the right idea on some of yeah. the offense and decisions that he's making, but there have been opportunities where he grabs things like CS yes. and he, and he doesn't use it. He meter instead, right? Like, off yeah. of Bitatsu. The CS off of Bitatsu is so much stronger than the Fireball Cancel. Yeah, the CS off Bitatsu leads to a pretty silly mix of who was late, see? Especially because, yeah, it's so silly because, like, what you want to do is green shield the second hit, right? And if you have CS, you just can't do that without getting uh, grid broken. It's, it's they, so they can, stupid. They can literally react to the green shield of CS and then just grab yeah. you. And he had that situation, and if he had gone he for CS... Fireball. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, there's just stuff to learn, ways to use your resources optimally. But with a character like Akatsuki, who's going to, you know, he needs to, like... Do we have a third? No. He needs to make those mistakes count, because he kind of relies on you making them. Uh, you really want to make every opportunity count and spend your oh, resources no. wisely. Yeah, that was... that was... 5cc <laughs> or What? Oh. <laughs> end around, end around. It's okay, we get nervous. 
Okay. Wow, what a sick mix-up from Village Mascot. Um... Ooh, that was sick. What a nice 2B. Akatsuki's 2B is actually such a good button. It's really active. It goes really far. Full A6C. Hex out a corner. Drops combo the back. Drops the combo back. Mm, that Please death. kill. Please kill. Yeah. Sakanto, young Reese, looking clean. That's 3-0 in his favor so far. It's 3-0 in his favor so far. Village mascot got a perfect one round, but has not been able to play consistently enough, I would say, to pick up a game win yet. I wonder what the frame delay is. We can't see that, can we? Uh, I don't know. No, I don't think we can for spectate. Yeah, we cannot. Don't say 7-0 yeah. yet. Come on. That's just, like, chill out. <laughs> chill I mean, out. It, honestly, it's going in that direction. Take well, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely going in that direction. Again, if, if Village Mascot actually comes together and begins to get the set snowball rolling, he could turn it around. Yeah, he he finds that he has this. Like, I this mean, he, he looks great this game so far. He's, like, doing set stuff. That mix-up was kind of whack, but you know what? It's fine. I yeah. like this. Runaway, throw orb. Uh, nah, I did not like the runaway. He gave up CS for no reason. Yeah, that's true. I think if he had gone with J2C there instead of JC, that would have worked. That Just Seth's JC is not his best button. His other buttons are all a little better. His J2C in particular. Ooh, tried to whiff punish. Kind of just gets beat up. Ooh, nice. Mm. Nice. <laughs> yeah, another, another major drop. Yeah, Vitatsu's good in those drop situations. Vitatsu's a god in those drop situations. <laughs> yeah, it's just the I want to win this scramble button, right? Like, <laughs> and there's a scramble and you need to make some eggs. Vitatsu. Vitatsu yeah. cooks them real good. It hits different. Vitatsu? I want to see Sakanto do Vitatsu IW. Alright, dash Vitatsu IW. No. Okay, mashing on wake up. He had CS too. If he had used CS instead of mashing, yeah. he would have uh, at least gotten hit. hit. Yeah, he might still have lost CS, but like that's better than getting counter hit and losing CS. Hit the ball? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> That was the type of CS that can actually lose you around. Yeah. Like, he wasn't thinking very hard about his CS, and just CS out of neutral. Oh no, oh my god, he got so lucky there. He did not know he was gonna dodge the orb. But yeah. Sakanto goes up 4 orb. 4 0. Oh. Like, like, I'm not up. expecting every Seth to be sploogy, but like, like, you can't play this, like, <laughs> honestly, you can't play this character and drop your combos. It's, it's the same for any set play character. If you're not consistently hitting your set play, like, it's not about doing the sickest set play, but if you're not consistently hitting it, you are not getting... You're not doing the character's basic game plan. And gonna, that's just the case. I'm gonna bring this back around towards what I was talking about before that happened. Um, if you're playing Undernight and you have CS, if you're going to choose to use it, there are reasons to choose not to, if you're going to choose to use it, you need to choose to use it in a situation where there's something that you can like actually take advantage of with it. Yes. Takanto is consistently getting CS advantage and then just CSing in neutral at ranges where he could really just be blocking it out, looking for fireballs, things like that. Like you have CS here, and your main option is sort of CS the Seth mix up or hold it yeah. to use. Um, God, what's Guard thrust. Guard thrust. But yeah, he's doing neither. That. He's doing neither. Like I haven't seen a single CS DP from that him. Was a great jab. Or or CS parry. That was a really good parry. Uh, a jab. Uh, missed the jab afterwards for the, uh... I mean, he's a melty the... player, right? That's why he's mashing, right? Yeah, mashy blood. Mashy blood. He's just mashing 2A. I mean, his 2A mash was godlike there, but, like, let's see some CSDP. Let's see some uni. Wow, there's a lot of Guilty Gear players in the chat. There we go. All right. All right. All right. Nice, I'm really surprised they don't know how to beat that too, I'll be real. Okay, let's see some pressure. Ooh, nice. Yeah, this is an oop. That was not the OP. Yeah, well, I mean, he messed up. Whatever yeah, he was going for, like... He's still hanging on to CS, so he still has yeah, a good... That was, that was a good block sequence. Good sequence of blocking. 
I'd like to see him stop just trying to jump back and then assault JC. I think that is not a good way to approach your opponent. Another CS cycle, not spawn. Now okay, good block on the moved. overhead. Ooh. Okay, kill him! You can kill him! Kill him! Please! No! Oh, oh my god! I'm it, gonna it, fucking die! I'm gonna die! Uh, it, it looks like he knew that he had the opportunity to kill. It didn't. And he just sat there going, wait, I didn't kill him. <laughs> I've been in that position before. Someone get this guy a hot chocolate, please. Get him a blanket and a hot chocolate. Cool, thanks for the host. Oh, I should host this, Deb? huh? Yeah, Deb hosted us, so shout out. Aw, thank thanks, Deb. Shout out to Deb. I hear he's the best mag, uh, best elt in the MNA. Cool. Yeah. Woo. Best yeah. Deb, Deb is actually the best magnets in NA though. Like I know I misspoke, but he actually is the best magnets in NA. Ooh, good anti-air shield. I was recognizing that uh, Village Mascot really just wants to go in and hit JC and is doing simple solutions. Oh, see, he, that's another time he could have CS'd and gotten a grid break. Yeah. CS to Tatsu is just one of the strongest souls in the entire game. See, yeah. he CS'd there, but he did it, the it, shield, he did it after the shield. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, did, he needs to do it on the second hit if you're going to do it, right? Like, you do it after the second hit. Yeah, after the second hit, you CS, and then you have then JP, you, JC, you, or just fall grab. Yeah, or, or it, fall 2A, like... Yeah, the, the amount of options there are very strong. It's really good. You can also parry if you think they want a DP or something. It's really cool. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like the dive punch that Takanto has been doing. Um, it's pretty hard to make it plus in that sort of situation. Ooh, no punish. We good though. There's that same situation we've talked about a few times. Yeah. Did the, but you uh, know what? It's it's better to cancel into fireball than to do nothing, right, and get punished. So. Yeah. Like he's he's making enough correct decisions. I just gonna continue to win the set, but. He could be closing this out in a little yeah. bit of a different way by using his yeah. resources better. But like, yeah. you know, he's up 6-0, so like you can't really say he's making You can't really decisions. talk shit, yeah, you can't. Just saying, if he, if he comes back to watch this set, like his resource management is... It's something I work on, is, definitely. Is fine. I, I think some of the other decisions he's making is just him being comfortable in like... Like, it, if you're not going to get punished for making seemingly bad decisions, just just keep making them. Yeah, no, so and that's a uni thing especially. Oh, like There are times where he's just like mashing, but when he gets punished for mashing, it's not that severe. And when he gets the hit for mashing, he just gets this and wins. So yeah. just the risk reward in this situation is shifted, right? Because of how Village Mascot is or isn't punishing him. Okay, I like how he's playing this game. He's abusing neutral like we wanted to see him do. Yeah. Sakatho is still making good decisions around the orb. Ooh, yeah. he, and he, he went in with 6-6-C for kind of no reason there, you know? Like, I don't think Seth should be doing that if he doesn't have an orb on the screen uh, or CS. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> went straight to the orb. Wow. <laughs> oh, Akatsuki. Making the best of life. Shoutouts to Papster. Oh, Papster. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> the double overhead, they'll never see it coming. That's so yeah. sick. <laughs> That's the victory lap shit, right? Yeah, yeah. So, Alright, Village Mascot is uh, trying to get a game here. Ugh, fast fall into a jab. Don't make this 7 0, please, Village Mascot. Again, spending that meter instead of getting a setup. And he didn't yeah, charge I, afterwards, so he loses CS. Yeah. Like the I, the I, only reason you'd want to super after there is just to hold D afterwards. Yeah, it or if you're going to kill or something. I mean, Seth has other supers that give him more advantage, too, you know? Yeah. Like, you um, can just throw an orb and sit there holding fucking yeah. charge. Oh cool. my god. Be taught to infinite worth. That's death. Hell yeah, sure. that's the classic. That's optimal, by the way. That's optimal. 4200. 
Wake up, Bitatsu. What a god. What a lord. What a lord. That's like actually the squish. Ooh, he's got him a lot with that uh, A Tatsu low. It'll really blow up a bad habit of shielding as soon as you see Tatsu. Yeah, that delay 5 C in the combo. That was a good hit confirm. Yeah, Kanto's looking really clean this round. Alright, yeah, we got CS. Nice. Right there. Yep. Oh, 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 he dropped the combo. That was it. We could have like CBO'd, right? Yeah, he got it on a lot. I think he was yeah. looking. Okay. For the close version to be there. I don't think it matters. Yeah, he could have won there too, I think. But it's hard to know. He, he went for Tatsu, but uh, he didn't have time to get the low crush out. Careful throwing Fireball. That's how CS is doing here. Ooh, it don't matter. I, I, you know, he hasn't DP'd any of those uh, JCs. Okay, uh, we're seeing a CBO combo. This is not going to kill. Nah, if you know you're going out, at least, like, you know. I guess do a, do a cool combo, but, like, all right. Oh! Oh my god! Village mascot is blocking! He has- Oh my god! Not like this! Uh, I was getting hyped for a second. That is a 7-0. Congratulations, Sakanto. You're the best respy fan, eh? Yeah, the you best pastor in North America. Best pastor in North America. You don't have to do any push-ups. Good for you. Um... Cool. Wow, good games to Sakanto, good games to Village Mascot. Um, and what what would you say like these players can walk away and work on after watching Boy. this set? Boy. Village <laughs> Mascot can't be... Like, I, I'm not trying to be rude, Village Mascot really needs to go back to the drawing board with his understanding yeah. of like how to approach Seth. Because like the neutral game was just incorrect from minute one. Yeah. And then the ability to convert the ability to do the setups, the ability to even do consistent pressure just wasn't there. Like, there are many set tools he wasn't using correctly. Sakanto yeah. played like mostly fine, just like his resource management was like baffling. And like if you're gonna get to the next level with Akatsuki, making your resources go like miles is really important because the character literally can't go miles. He doesn't have a run. He scoots at people. <laughs> he slides. He does like so, the electric slide. So, so like when you get opportunities, when you get resources with the Kotsky, you need to make him count harder, hit a little yeah, bit harder. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But like he, he did everything else like fine. So Akatsuki is the type of momentum-based character that if you win CS, like you should really get them in the corner off of it. You know. Um, yeah. Uh, so I think we're gonna. Are we taking a break now, or are we? Okay, so we have the info. We're gonna we're gonna do an advertisement. All right. So, um, hey, do you live in Traverse City, Michigan, or near there? Uh, well, on July thirteenth to fourteenth, there is Aurora Blitz two uh, at the Great Wolf Lodge in Traverse City, Michigan. There are tournaments for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, which has a thousand dollar pot bonus. Melee with a 500 pot bonus, Rivals of Aether with 200, Tekken 7 with 200, Mortal Kombat 11 with 300, DBFZ with 200, Undernight Inbirth EXE Late ST with 200, and also Street Fighter 5 and Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Uh, yeah, did... Battle for the Grid is fun. <laughs> battle for the Grid. Uh, uh, no Undernight is a battle for the grid. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Um, it's, it's, it's something. So if you're in the uh, Michigan area, I don't know what side of Michigan Traverse City is on, but uh, it's on the top half, apparently. <laughs> uh, so go check that out. Um, the URL is smash.gg slash Aurora dash Blitz dash two, July 13th, 14th. Do you want to do this one? I don't know, I think you got it. Oh, great. Uh, all right, the next ad is Cap City Cruise. Uh, this is an event in Columbus, Ohio. Oh, hey, uh, I think Suna's from that area. Uh, it's at the Level 1 Bar and Arcade on July 6th. Uh, that's a Saturday at noon. Uh, it's going to be a 3v3 and 2v2 teams event in Street Fighter V, Tekken 7, Vampire Savior, let's go Ohio, uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and under night in birth exe late st hell yeah uh that's that's a fun event if i still lived uh in pittsburgh i would definitely go to that that sounds fun i'd go to play st st is like my favorite kuso gay super turbo yeah yeah that Good is fan. a kuso gay it's a really fun kuso gay yeah 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 
Um, it's pretty fun. Who do you play? I play Chun and Blanca. I play, I play Chun like I want to win. I play I Blanca. Play Blanca. Like, I want to like I... use somebody. Man, we always play the same characters. Um, nah. Yeah, uh, not in every game, but a lot. I don't um, play Ana. I yeah, don't play but... AD carry. I'm not like fucking degenerate. You used to play AD carry. Yeah, I saw it for a reason. You play top lane. That's worse. I play mid. You played top lane for like two months. Yeah, I needed the uh, the experience. Fine. Um, all right. We've got next up. We're gonna have Untold Melody versus Suna. Untold Melody sporting that blue square. I wonder if that's for fashion. I'm gonna guess it's for fashion. I'm gonna hope it's for fashion. Um, so Suna is an Aurier player from Columbus, Ohio, um, who has been playing since EL, um, and is pretty good, I think. Uh, Untold Melody I'm a lot less familiar with, but he plays Hilda. Um, that's all I know about Untold Melody. Yo, where's that, where's that guy on how to fight Hilda? <laughs> I've completely Ooh. forgotten most of this matchup. <laughs> All right, so let me tell you what Magnets told me about fighting Hilda. Okay. You dash block until she makes a mistake. Uh, this character, like, you really don't want her to hit you, because if she does and she has enough meter, she converts it into a 50-50 mix-up situation, which loops back into itself, especially if she has Vorpal. Um, in Vorpal, her meter consumption is lessened, like her supers cost less meter, so she'll just build enough meter to keep looping it. And... Uh, you don't want to be guessing in this game. This is a game where typically you don't actually have to guess. Um, most mix-up is reactable if you're being patient. Uh, but Hilda's is not. It is, she can actually make the high and low options hit on the same frame. You can't even fuzzy it. It's fucked up. Um, so we'll see. Like Hilda is similar to Seth in that she's a character where if you cannot execute, if you are dropping your combos, if you are not consistently getting that 50-50 when you get a hit, you are just not playing the character. So um, what I'm looking to see from Untold Melody is uh, execution, you know? Um, on the other hand, Aurier has to what? Get in, win neutral. She has Thrust, which I think can probably threaten Hilda at ranges Hilda doesn't like to be threatened. If Hilda goes for um, one of her low moves, like the 2-2-A or 2-2-B, those are minus. And I'd imagine Thrust after those is pretty scary. Um, so, yeah. I think that's going to be the idea is, can Orye get in and can Hilda get started? At least that's what I think, but we'll see. Yeah, um, the players can start whenever, right? I think we're ready yeah. to go. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, cool. Let's kick it off. Is Suna Who's going with default Aurier? Green color. Go, default's the tech, right? Oh, no. Is it? Unfortunate, no default. Yeah, if you see somebody playing default, either they're a, they're an untold lord, or they're a complete and total scrub. There's like no <laughs> middle ground. Bam, shots fired. It's true! Uh, ooh, Untold Melody's title is 10 years old, yay. Uh... uh, 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 uh someone call the team. fucking cops! <laughs> Get your fucking man. <laughs> uh, input display is on. Uh, at least on mine. Uh, it's, maybe on, not. it's on the line. It's not on the mainstream. It's fine. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so uh, starting off here, trading so for us. Untold Melody backing into the corner, and uh, ooh, Suna drops a combo. It's already Suna's doing the type of strategy we talked about. Mostly yep. move, moving forward, taking advantage of minus frames. Ooh, couldn't quite get ooh, out of the corner. Yeah, yeah uh, that was a really nice try. I like the idea, but it just wasn't fast enough. Untold Melody has gone for that jump back dive kick um, twice when feeling threatened, and it's been pretty good both times. Uh, the first time Suna green shielded it, making it plus, and the second time Suna got hit by it. Uh, Untold Melody definitely could have killed there. Alright, there's that thrust. Mm, not Ooh, quite spacey we're not looking spaced for. Correctly, yeah. Just a little bit off. But Suna is showing signs of life here. It's still early, like... 
you have to see what is this Hilda going to do. Hilda actually has a lot of defensive options she can choose from. Um, FFA and Dive Kick are both low crushes, uh, and she has a lot of options out of them. Uh, she can also just do, like, Jump Back Shield. She can do Delay 2A. You know, she can do all the standard Universal OSs. She has an Anti-Air OS, so... Ugh. Yeah, Xena started out looking pretty good, pretty confident. Ooh, there we okay, go. Okay, here we go. Untold Melody has enough for a Veil Off. That's like Hilda's kind of signature move. Ooh, nice frame trap. Okay. Ooh, didn't quite bait the Veil Off correctly. Uh, if he had blocked that, it would have been so nice. Oh, it, no. It, that looks like an anti Veil Off. Uh, yeah, type it, it drop definitely and was. Just but block. Yeah, he didn't hold down back afterwards. It didn't even look like he hit a move, like... Yeah, this isn't Street Fighter 4, your safe jump doesn't autopilot the OS for you. Yeah... You gotta, you gotta actually stop and block if you see something coming out. Alright, Untold Melody takes the first game, but I, I think Suna still looks pretty good. I think it looks like I'm see we're seeing some nerves, mostly. Couple execution mistakes. Uh, but there's it's data, right? It's a first to seven, so... Yeah, it's fine. Again, time. The, the general game plan was there, and then it just kind of fell apart. Yeah. So, you know, stick, stick, stick to your game plan, keep it working, you got time. Yeah, you got time, be confident. Be yeah, a, confident, lot of, you know? a lot of players will have Ooh. a game plan, and then it doesn't work, and they just abandon it. And sometimes yeah. the reason it doesn't work isn't because the game plan's incorrect, it's because you're RPSing incorrectly. You're just making the wrong decisions within that plan. That's the thrust, there we go. Um, I don't like the empty assaults Suna has been doing, I'm not sure what it's trying to bait. Hilda's not really the type of character whose mash is that good. So, like, and even if, like, maybe he's trying to bait stand tech? I, but even then, like, wouldn't you want to hit a button? I don't know. Ooh, okay. That's a good CS, yeah. Uh, all right. Ooh, very good thrust. Excellent from Suna, but dropping the combo again. Suna's dropped that corner combo, like, three or four times now. And against Could Hilda. Could for kill right there. Yeah, and... Ooh, now you're dead. That assault was really bad. That was a really bad assault. Ugh. Like, if you had to drop that combo, oh, I like the run-in a lot. Like, the neutral is good, but, like, he keeps putting himself in a position where he has to play hit. And, like, even if it's good, like, Hilda's dangerous. Mm, I do not like those back dashes or jump back. Nope. You're moving yourself towards the corner and you gave up uh, four pulls. There are moments oh, yeah, where yeah. if you had thrown Gloom, you'd already committed to blocking just shield. Yeah, or he, is an yes. or he is an interesting character because she has a lot of matchups where actually, like, her screen space is her life bar. The further she is to the corner, the worse it is for her. Uh, because she's trying to walk her opponent down, and she can, can't can really abuse her good walk back speed uh, to actually play footsies. There you go. One sequence, though, that's all it takes. Yeah, especially against Hilda. Cool. I, I, that is a, like a gimmick starting with that. It's a low, so it's like I'm gonna catch you doing something. But thrust moves fast enough that I don't think 2-2-C will even catch it. And it's a hundred meter. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good way to like throw away your defensive option at round start. Honestly. Yeah, I mean, and Hilda needs that. Like, if she's meterless, she is. Okay, and spends meter to yes. save plus. Not Keep, crazy. Yeah, it's thrust fine. is scary, so you don't want to, you know, give them an opportunity to hit you with it. See it. Thrust CS is available. Guard thrust is available. Okay, is. I like the guard thrust there. Oh, see it. Oh, oh no, drop the combo. Not quite the conversion we're looking for. Suna's uh, scramble play has been <laughs> not ideal, and Suna's combo drops have created a lot of scrambles. Suna yeah. should be able to kill up this. He has 200. Okay, face the okay. face. Oh my long. god, there's, these there's players. Some... There was a moment there where Suna realized that they were about to uh, not have four pull and they instantly dash forward yeah. <laughs> and then just steal it. Uh, what's cute. up, cool guy? What's up, cool guy? How's it going? So, seeing a little bit more awareness of the resource game in this yeah. set. Suna looked well, a lot looked better before. there, but like, please don't drop your combos. <laughs> please yeah. don't drop your combos. For the people out there that want to get better at uni, like, very quickly, like, don't stop drop. stop yeah. learning your combos, stop learning your setups, and learn your resource management, like, first and foremost. If you have correct resource management in this game, no matter what character you're playing, you can win just about any situation. Yes, but learn your combos. 
I mean, like, learn your combos. I mean, like, don't spend too much time just trying to, like, optimize, optimize, optimize. This is still, game. like, this is still an anime game, and, like, a, a, for a lot of, like, half the characters in this game, dropping your combos is really punishing. It, it's really bad. What I mean by stop learning your combos is, I mean, stop, like, looking just for only combos, because a lot of Undernight players stop have learning the combo new combos. Have right? the combo yeah, yeah, yeah. mentality. Stop learning new combos and, like, get your BNBs down. Like, pick the BNBs that you're not going to drop that lead into your, like, Oki or whatever and do them consistently. If you do that, you are, like, so far the way there. I mean, this is a game where to get a hit, you generally, like, you have to outthink your opponent. And so, like, every time you drop your combo, that's another time you have to outthink your opponent. And outthinking your opponent's hard. I'm. Just run through the glim. Got to ass off that thrust. Ooh, it doesn't turn into anything meaningful though. Alright. Ooh, good throw. Hilda gave up CS by extending that pressure the way she did. And then got thrown out of it. Doesn't matter though. Come back. Moving forward. Actually, pretty solid defense from Untold Melody coming out right there. This should be death? No, oh, no, it doesn't have the meter to kill. Unfortunate. I uh, got DC'd. I'm on my way back. Okay, you're fine. But yeah, I, I really do implore you stop focusing on getting too deep into certain character specifics. Learn your BMPs, learn your basics. Yeah, and don't, don't focus management. on optimization. Like, focus on, yeah, BMBs and decision making and resource management, right? Like, that'll go so far in this game. So, Untold Melody is apparently from St. Louis because of the pop offs happening in the chat. <laughs> are they, or are they just from the St. Louis area? Because St. Louis is, like, basically like a state if you're from I have around no here. Idea. But Matt McCool of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania knows them. So. Got the okie dokes. Got the gird break. Really, really strong situation for Hildred BM. But corners herself. Holy crap. Whoa. Apparently, what? Untold Melody drives 100 minutes to go to St. Louis locals. What dedication. I mean, I do that to go to California locals, but that's just LA. Yeah, that's like 10 miles, right? Yeah, it's 100 minutes to go, like, 10 miles, yeah. I, I drive two hours to Wednesday Night Fights. It's cool. Until Melody looking strong here. Uh, it looks like after, you know, the initial nerves have settled, they've kind of come out on top. Whew. Good thrust. Ooh, a little bit of latency. A little bit. Yo, net play lords, though, keeping the combo going. Nice, all right. Do we get a mix-up? That's not a real gloom setup, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine. Ooh, another good break off that force. Wow, fight. great thrust. These A thrusts by Suna have been good, but the combo drops are killing me. Like, come on. You're getting like 1500 damage off all of these like decisions, and that's just not enough. You're gonna lose by attrition at that point. Oh, Ooh, no conversion though. Doesn't matter. Oh, well, actually, yeah. it might matter. No, it doesn't matter. Suna is, uh, it looks kind of like he's panicking and falling apart. Yeah. Uh, not to be mean, but. I like get started out showing a promising game plan, but. He's still, uh. Dro he's dropping like the combos, going so... for hard RPS when it's not entirely necessary. Yeah, so, so but... cool guy, the reason Suna has not landed many non divine thrust hits is because he keeps dropping his combos. So he's never getting a situation where he's in Hilda's face with advantage. He like drops his combos into a situation where he's blocking Hilda's mid-range buttons and trying to get a divine thrust. Um, and that's why you really can't drop your combos against Hilda because a drop is always in her favor pretty much. Yeah, what if you could hit Gloom? Like Seth or? I wish, I wish. <laughs> I hate, I hate this character. This Let's is my least. Let's this character. Really, or just like redesign her. She just is like she's a guilty gear character in the wrong game. 
No offense to Hilda players, the character's fine. No, not really. she's not. She's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Much offense to Hilda players. There, there's an uh, opportunity to get more there, but we converted the throw into Oak. Okay, we did a combo, but like that ender. All right. Okay, nice. Good offense. Goes for the 5C into the 2A. It looks like the overhead, so it gets them to stand block. There's the overhead. Please kill. Yeah, this is very, very easy death. No meter hey. required. Yeah, Tsuna, you did it. You did two combos in a row. I'm proud of you. All right. Cool. Ooh. Unfortunate. Yep. Ooh, Ooh, wow. Really nice that, use of force function nice there. Nice use of force function. Yeah. You know, Suna did that to get... That was really good. Suna did that to get over Gloom a couple times, which I think is really cool. It's like a really inventive use of that tool. I wish Merkava could do that, but he can't fly high enough. Oh, wow. This is done under pressure. And then mashes. Gotta be calm. A bunch of uni players are saying Hilda would be a trash Guilty Gear character. I mean... Maybe, but like, still screw this character, right? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I very much dislike Hilda. Like, like if, if you like Hilda, do your thing. I'm not gonna actually be mean to you, but it's it's not fun to fight this character sometimes. Ooh, okay, Keep, keeps going on the side. Ooh, corners themselves. Unfortunate. He's just uh, thrust CS to keep momentum going. Nice shield. Wow, that was a really good shield, yeah. And uh, Untold Melody is hitting his... Ooh, goes for a reset. That's uh, pretty gimmicky, especially because he had meter, but it's fine. Gonna win Borpal. Can't convert, though. Going in. Ooh! The power of Thrust. Divine Thrust is so good. Interesting. I think that was supposed to be uh, EX Thrust. I think they were just panicking because they saw the uh, spike coming out from behind them. Yeah, you might be right. Tried to invul through it. Yeah. Uh, I don't actually think you needed to siesta. I think that would have been plus. That's uh, death regardless. Big. No! Wow, no, commentator's curse. What? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> not like this. Please, Suna. Oh, oh, I... Time is low. Yeah, it, it's Why backdash Suna... there? Why backdash? Is he gonna time out? If Cena actually just went for the timeout, uh, it would have been godlike. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah honestly, mm -hmm. something that Cena's always doing in that round, but they could be doing more. Yeah. It's just, just kind of force functioning in neutral because yeah, Untold Melody hasn't shown the hasn't been anti-airing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And... It's... It's hard. Hilda, she, like, she moves, she falls out. so fast that it's actually pretty hard. And Oria has the ability to stop her, her mo like her momentum with her air specials. If Hilda like whiffs something and you go over it, like that's really good for you. So that that might be an option they want to keep doing because it is working. Yeah. yeah see, there they go. No, not the correct anti-air. Whiffs the button and dies for it. If, if Untold Melody doesn't actually adjust and start like considering that more in their neutral game, it could come back to bite them pretty hard. Good, good throw attack. Yep, it was a gold throw, oh. so... Ooh, good very conversion. cool, good combo. Yeah, cor uh, side swap in the corner. Nice, good block. Good guess, I should say. Wow, great thrust! Please do your combo. Hell yeah. Alright, so Suna should win in this situation. Hilda has no resources. Gonna win Vorpal. No! Walked back and gave up Vorpal. Solid defense right there. Yeah. Both players playing really nice this game. Ooh, so you don't have to take Ooh. risks right now. You could have waited for your Vorpal. Yep. Yep. yep there you go. Yeah. Yeah, if you're ever in a situation where you have to block something that's not threatening and you can build Vorpal, just, just block, get your Vorpal, then use it to make your decision. Very good thrust. Yeah, very good wow, 2A. good mash, good mash. Yeah, if Oria likes to keep structuring her pressure past 2A like that, you can you can mash uh, this, options like pretty okay. This match actually got exciting in this game. It's good. It's, it's what, 3-2, right? So... 
Close. Ooh. Is Hilda gonna win Portful here? Yeah, the backdash from Suna gives up Portful again. Oh, that was a thrust. That, that was a thrust. Yeah, that, that was, was a thrust. Yeah. If you mess up curl circle forward, you hold forward. Yeah, that's a gimmick Ooh. that has not worked. I don't understand to continue going for it. Yeah, I, it's minus. It's not plus. So, it, like, I'd rather see jump back, um, skewer gloom if you really want to, like, try to take initiative at the start of the round. But it's just a, like, oh, God, I hope they do something, you know? Yeah. So there was that giant ass glitch then hitting or yeah out of force function. Ooh, uh, very nice with punish. Good adjustment. So nice both, both players are presenting options and attempting to RPS them correctly by moving from layer to layer. Like that's how fighting games work, right? Like you present an option, that option gets beat. Present the next option that beats that option, and it's laddering up and up and down. Mm -hmm. and that's what both players are doing right now. So like the force function from Suna was presented in neutral and it was working. And then until Melody started just dropping big ass linchpins with the sky on them, hit them clean yeah. out of that and took a round for it. So now Suna has to go back and reconsider. Okay, so that's the game. How do I beat that? And the, that opens up actually just moving forward again. Yeah, exactly. Like dash blocking, right? Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. So which we haven't really seen Suna go for. Um, we've seen Suna dash in and go for like two B or something. But uh, Suna's done a lot of dash forward, get hit by JTC. All right, I like this Oki. I like the choice to go for the throw there to at least avoid the gloom. Wow, I thought that would that that thrust went right through her. That's really unfortunate. Yeah. Oh no, doesn't combo. Yeah, I was looking for the counter hit actually. I didn't get it. Yeah. Unfortunate. That's why you do the reverse speed. Yeah. Ooh, that's death. I, I, the backdashes from Suna, I think, have been really bad. Like, yeah. I, I, I get why he's doing them. He's probably like, okay, I don't know what to do. I want to create space and, like, think, you know? But you just, like, the matchup is you don't want to give Hilda any room, you know? You have to hold your ground and feel like I can block her, her pressure. All right, three hits. We're going to get the fourth. Nice. Yep. We block the dive kick. But we drop the combo. Yeah, that honestly nice. is, to me looked like combo paralysis, where they hit two two A's and go, "How do I kill from this?" And by the time yeah. they fall that, it, they fall off the combo. You don't worry. Honestly, you don't worry about it and hope you get CBO is actually like the answer in that situation. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, Run up two A. Goes for the low. Ooh, dropped something there, but... Yeah, that was a really, really tight orb setup. Yeah, right that, that was actually a pretty nice setup. Uh, it, looks like, it looks like Melody knows, knows they're Hilda. They know a little yeah, bit of their optimization, definitely. what they're trying to attempt. They're, they're consistently, like, doing their setups and doing their combos, right? So, yeah. that's, what, so that's what counts. There are, are a couple gimmicks in there. Nah, cool guy. Uni L players love down back. Uni ST players love 2A. Like, actually. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually. Boomers just want to block. Boomers just want to mash. Hilda 5B is... I think it's faster than 12 frames. Oh. Not 12. Never mind. 2B is... Uh, slow. Untold Melody is giving frame data info in the chat while playing. What a lord. You got hit for it. Pay attention to the game, dude. It's... <laughs> yeah. Let us be dumb. That's our job. Yeah. Um... Suna has gone for that Thanatos a lot, and I don't know if Untold Melody is just delay teching or if Suna's just mistiming it, but it has not actually hit on any wake up. Suna, uh, Melody's been delay teching. Yeah, then actually. Suna should stop going for it. <laughs> like, Suna could be instead just running up and getting in Hilda's face and threatening a lot more buttons and a lot more options, or setting like an assault safe jump up or something. Traded on the JTC setup, unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Good throw, though. Oh, I don't like that back dash. You avoided a move, but like, you're not gonna get back in there. 
Until Melody's playing solid, I like that he's being patient after 2C, uh, 2CC, uh, worried about thrust. Okay, that's punish. Nice, and good then, CS. That's a great use of CS. Go, go, goes ahead and uses the meter just to make sure. Yeah. Hilda has really a lot of down. gaps in her strings, especially if you can shield. Uh, so having a forward moving reversal is really good against her. Whoa. Whoa. Use sequence, drops the combo twice. Try to really stand her game. I, I, that backdash is. I mean, I guess it gets you out of gloom, but like, it's just such a bad situation. Yeah, really scary. Hilda has all the resources here. Yeah, you're dead. Yeah. You're dead. Manages to CS, keep <laughs> meter going to the next round. Might have been a mistake. Might have been a mistake. Why not just block the gloom? Well, I think the fear, Yithian, is that uh, the gloom sets up a 50-50, but I think in that situation, it might have been better to just block it. I don't think she had time to get everything set up, like, to do something real. Lasers after that. I wonder if that laser caught a thrust. Uh, it's called Skewer. It's not called Laser. Batista uh, has laser. It's a giant-ass laser, as far as it's I'm concerned. It's a Skewer. It's a big sword. It's a big laser? It's a big sword. It's a big laser. It's a big sword. All right, so Ori is in the corner. <laughs> Land the throw. Oh, it's three swords. We've been corrected by our staff. I was closer. It's not a laser. You know no, who has a big laser. sword? Orie. Orie's sword is like taller than her. Have you noticed that? Yeah. That's fine. Ooh, this should be a. Oh no. I don't I know if there was this... anybody for from that. The CS was a strange choice. Maybe with like a J2C or J2 and 4C or something like that. Like the Persona up bat thing. Nice, Vela. Please kill Super. Yeah, you, you have Vela, I'm just infinite worth. Yep. Yeah. There's no reason Very not. Nice. Alright, so we got 5 3. That's 5 3. Yeah, there's, there's signs of life in this set still. Yeah. We got a little Suna bit of a waste. Suna fighting back. I I, uh, I ranked both these characters uh, bottom tier on my hype characters to watch match list tier list. Well, I think Oria has her moments more than Hilda. Yeah. Yeah, every now and then you see an Oria get a hit and it's just like man, it's five thousand damage. That's good. Yeah. I, I'm, my little eight brain just like sees the numbers go up and I get hype. <laughs> That's fair enough. She does go forward very fast. Oh yes. Interesting decision. Yeah. You're spending a lot of meter and your CS when you could have just set up Oki. Maybe he just wants to style on him. Oh, I mean, you don't even get Oki, yeah. Yeah, like you, that's what I'm saying. You give up your Oki for that damage. Like, I don't think that just worked because it was invulnerable. Like, that an A thrust would have beat it. Oof. Can we kill from here without the meter? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Okay, cool. Lynchpin does a lot of damage. Big pen. Uh, apparently you're supposed to get triple pin from the IW, but as we see, Untold Melody did not, so... Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, that shit don't work. That was a good Assault JC. I think... Ah, uh, this is a really good setup. Whoa! Really? That's not gonna kill. No. This is just styling. No. Alright, do we have triple pin now? No! Oh my god! That was kinda sick, actually. That was kinda sick. Okay, so now we've seen her on tape. That shit works as far as I'm That shit works, yeah, yeah. But that wasn't triple pin either, was it? No, but it was still like something. Yeah, it was something. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, Case you got proved wrong, and you got proved wrong. <laughs> That's good. Hold that. Hold that. I like to be proved wrong. Same, TBH. So, tell me some real shit. <clears throat> it's after Iwax says cheesy FGC. It was not triple pin. 
Untold Melody is on um, set needs point. One more game. Set point, yeah. Well, I guess they need a round, right? Set game. That set game. I don't know. I'll I play don't know either. Woo! Woo! Wow, very nice overhead. I called out the shield, I guess. Or just a very bad shield from Tuna. Nice conversion. Untold Melody looks really strong right now. Ooh. Oh. Oh. It's in the back dash. Yeah, there's they're no off, reason. Now you're in the corner. To respond like, was something different? Because Untold Melody made the mistake and just back dashes. I mean, I think back dashing against Hilda is just very bad in general. Like, why would you want to move away from this character? Ooh. Mm, she has like quite how the reaction loaded up. I mean, part of her problem is that her her buttons that hit in front of her are really slow, you know, excluding 2A. So like, why would you move away from her? You know, at distance is kind of where she's strongest. Ooh, Veil off faded. Until Melody looking so strong right now on set point. Still going for that TTC, but whatever. Yeah, regardless of whether or not Backdash gets you out of the mix-ups in these situations, it's consistently allowing Melody to regain advantage. Yeah, like win Vorpal and like get to move forward and go for some sort of mix-up. Like, like the, the concept of Backdashing out of the mix-up can be fine, but in the context of this match, the Backdash has been consistently the wrong decision. Yeah. Melody you have to keep in mind, you have to keep in mind that Orye's Backdash is not like a traditional Backdash. It moves her, you know, like three quarter screen. So it's not like, oh, I'm going to Backdash out of the mix-up and make it whip and be at roughly the same position. And that is it's that. like, I'm going to give up the whole screen. And that's it. Untold Melody takes it. Yeah, and then, like another thing to consider is like a lot of people go into matchups, and someone would say this is a good option for this character matchup, and it could be wrong for the player matchup. Yeah. And in this situation, for the set, for the player matchup, maybe even for the character matchup, incorrect decisions were made, and it ultimately ended up costing many advantages and the set at the end of the day. But um, good job to both players, Uncle Melody, Senior 19. Senior 19 didn't look bad. It looked like their game plan wasn't entirely in place to do what they were looking for. Yeah. To. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think Suna looked pretty strong, had some really strong moments, had some really good thrusts, and I think was playing the matchup correctly in that regard. But it looked, I don't know if it was nerves or what, but the back dashes uh, definitely were a factor, in my opinion. So The general neutral game plan, the call and response wasn't exactly correct. Their ability to return to options that had been called out wasn't quite there. Um, like, again, once the FF got shut down, like, it didn't, like, really come back at all. Yeah. And you can't just take it off the table because no, like, they respond you, to it. It's still rock, paper, scissors. Yes, you can never, like, Uni is a game where you should never stop. Like, even if you've got punished for it a few times, you should never, like, completely stop doing an option that you know is strong and something they have to respect or deal with. Because you, you can't, like, play rock, paper, scissors and just say, I'm going to stop throwing scissors after it loses a couple times. Part you know? Particularly in like under night, under right is a very rock paper scissors heavy game. Yes, it is. And like if you throw a rock and they throw paper, you can't still throw a rock again. You just need to know that yeah. they're looking for it. And especially in a first to seven, because like if I so if I throw scissors three times in a row and you throw a rock three times, maybe I should stop throwing scissors for a little while. But if we're gonna you know throw three hundred more hands of rock paper scissors, I should, I should probably throw scissors at least a couple times in this. You know, so. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, so that's going to wrap it up for this week. But next week, what do we have here? Yeah. Um, Petty Tree Bark looks like Rockin' Diakia versus LT Todd running playing Elton. That is an interesting pose with the title card. Uh, and DFA X Calamity. That's my boy. That's that's my SoCal homie uh, playing against Peach Alhada, who she's a user rehab player from, I think, Oregon, I believe. Um, West Coast match? This is a West Coast match, yeah. Um, but I, I have to root for Calamity just because he's he's my guy, you know? Um, Ooh, look, look at those commentators. You got FGC Ooh. Joker going to be in the buildy, and then Frosty the Swole Man. Frosty the Swole Man, a, a recurring favorite on recurring Void Effect. Um, that sounds, so, so I think that that second match is really exciting to me. Mika versus Yuzu is a bad matchup, to it's say the a... least. But, That's a timeout matchup for sure. But DFAX Calamity is not like your average Mika. Uh, 
he is, I think it'll be trade, quite a treat to see him play uh, for everybody. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a fun one. Cool. Uh, I think that's going to wrap it up for us. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Yeah. All can, right, we plug, we can we plug our social media? Um, or is it over? Uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter, uh, BurgerTime underscore FGC. And I stream uni on Twitch, also BurgerTime underscore FGC. Thank you. Yeah, I'm um, at AnnFGC. Thanks for watching. I'm not really playing as much Undernight these days, but I do general uh, Undernight, uh, oh, sorry, general fighting game content, particularly Tekken right now. So come check out my Twitter if you're interested in any of that. And uh, maybe I'll catch you guys another time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Cool. Yay.